It's common wisdom that chewing your food more helps you lose weight. But does the science actually support that? Today I'm going over scientific studies on how chewing your food more affects your appetite, food intake, weight, and even your ability to eat intuitively. Hey there, I'm Mish, and I am a full-time research scientist with my PhD, and by day I conduct and publish studies of my own, whereas by night I share the results of other studies here to help you reach your weight loss, health, nutrition, and fitness goals. And I first just wanted to say a huge thank you to all the new patrons we have over on Patreon and all of you who have donated so generously on GoFundMe. It's really been an amazing holiday surprise, so thank you so much for supporting me and making these videos. It really means a lot to me. And now back to chewing. Most of the research on chewing thus far has focused on how chewing your food more affects your appetite and your food intake. So I'll be focusing on that first. And then towards the end of the video, I will also go over how chewing affects weight loss, as well as things like emotional eating, external eating and cravings, and also your ability to successfully eat intuitively. And first we'll be talking about a meta-analysis of 40 randomized controlled trials. And as a reminder, randomized controlled trials are how we assess cause and effect because they are experiments. So these are actual cause and effect data, not correlational data. And this meta-analysis of 40 trials found that making people chew their food more caused people to feel less hungry, have less of a desire to eat, and to eat less food during the meal. So causally, making people chew less actually makes them eat less. And for an example of the size of this effect, so you can get an idea of how it might apply to the real world, I'm going to go over an example study that had the same effect size as the average that was found across all these studies in the meta-analysis. And the study brought in 45 participants to eat pizza for lunch in the lab, and they split the participants into three groups. And what the researchers did was they had participants either chew their normal natural amount, or chew 50% more, or chew twice as much. So for example, if a participant usually needed 10 chews to eat a bite of pizza, then the natural group would continue to do that, continue to do 10 chews. The 50% increase group would do 15 chews, and the double group would do 20 chews. And what they found is that people who chewed 50% more ate 10% less naturally just as a result of chewing more. So they felt more satiated sooner during this pizza meal because they chewed more. And the people who chewed twice as much ended up eating 15% less pizza. So if we were to talk about, let's say a 200 calorie slice of pizza, then the people who chewed twice as much ate 30 calories less. And importantly, despite the fact that people who were asked to chew more ended up eating less naturally, they actually felt just as full and satisfied as the people who ate more and chewed less. So from all these studies so far, what we can see is that chewing your food more makes you eat less food and feel less hungry from both the meta-analysis and the example study. But what about actual weight loss? Do these appetite changes and food intake changes actually translate into real world weight loss? Well, unfortunately, there are hardly any studies done on this yet, but I'm going to go over an interesting one that combined mindfulness training with chewing longer and looked at how it influenced weight loss as well as emotional eating and cravings and intuitive eating. And what they did is they had participants come into the lab and do training sessions on chewing their food for a really long time until the food was completely liquefied. And they also had them really pay attention to their food. So do mindfulness exercise while eating where they really tuned into the sensory experience of eating. And they also had them do a few general mindfulness exercises as well. And this was a randomized controlled trial with 46 people where they assigned half of them to this intervention and chewing more group and half of them to a weightless control group. And what they found is that the people assigned to this chewing intervention group lost over one BMI point more than the weightless control group. So people lost over a full point of BMI just from chewing more over the course of eight weeks. And importantly, they maintain this weight loss at a four week follow up. So after an initial eight weeks of intervention and then another four weeks of follow up, they maintained the weight and even lost a tiny bit more, not statistically significant, but the point is they weren't starting to regain their weight at all. And here are the plots of the data from the study. And at the top left here, we have BMI. And then as for the other measures they looked at, the researchers found that people in the chewing intervention group had their cravings go down over time and also had their emotional eating go down and their tendency to eat according to external cues go down. Like for example, watching your friends eat is less likely to make you eat just from wanting to join in. And they also found that people's ability to eat intuitively, so their ability to actually sense their appetite and pay attention to it and eat according to their true bodily hunger and not just cravings, increased over the course of this chewing intervention. And if you're not familiar with intuitive eating, I have a lot of videos going over it here on my channel. And I would suggest starting with this video as well as this video. And I also have a full playlist with videos on it. And I also have a quick start guide written up on my website for getting started with intuitive eating. So if you are curious about intuitive eating, 
lots to check out after this video. But getting back to chewing, why is it that chewing helps with appetite and reducing food intake and causing weight loss? Well, one mechanism that's been identified is the fact that chewing longer helps to increase hormones that tell your body that you're satiated and have eaten enough and helps to decrease hunger hormones that tell you to eat more. So chewing longer seems to affect our hunger hormones in a way that helps us to eat less and to lose weight. And based on these findings, I have a feeling that one of the many reasons that unprocessed foods, especially high fiber foods, are so good for satiety is the fact that we have to chew them more because a lot of more processed foods are easier to eat very quickly and don't require as much chewing, whereas things that are very high in fiber, like eating a bunch of leafy greens or something, it's gonna require you to chew for a very long time per calorie. Also, I wanted to make a video on this topic right now because I think it could be helpful going into the holidays. For example, if we're gonna be eating more indulgent foods with family and whatnot, chewing your food more might be a way to help you not overeat and to have it be less of a potentially negative impact on your weight loss or fitness or health goals. I hope you found this video helpful or at least interesting. And if you would like to get written summaries of all my videos with the key takeaways, then I've got those over on my Patreon along with Q and A's and whatnot. So if you're interested in that, check it out in the description below. And also if you're interested in supporting me in making these videos, we've got the Patreon in addition to the GoFundMe, which is for one-time donations. And if you like this video, please like and share it so that other people can get this information on how chewing their food more might be able to help them reduce their food intake and lose weight. And if you haven't already, be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell below to stay up to date on all this science. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.